Hi, in this particular video, we're looking at working out the integer values that satisfy this quadratic inequality. This is part of the playlist on dealing with quadratic inequalities. It's probably about as difficult as it gets with these sorts of things. And there's a couple of things that you can do in order to make your life a little bit easier. The first thing is, is that it's asking for integer values. Okay, so what that's telling me is that the solutions are not going to be whole numbers, okay? I think generally, if the question says something like solve, then that would be a whole number. The second thing is I've got 4x squared minus 20 and plus 20. So actually, I can just divide through by 4 and I can recreate or rewrite this equation as x squared minus 5x plus 5 is less than 0. And it just makes my life a little bit easier and the numbers are a bit easier to deal with. The next thing I'll do is I just want to prove to myself that I'm going to have to use the quadratic formula. Um, I suspect that I did because of this integer values, but also if I look at the number 5 here, the two factors of 5 are going to be 5 and 1, and there's nothing I can do with 5 and 1 in order to add them together to make minus 5. So therefore, I'm feeling like I'm going to have to use the quadratic formula to do this. Okay, so the first thing is I'm going to write it out. X, oops, <laughs> X equals minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all divided by 2A. Okay, so let's have a look firstly at what A, B and C actually mean. Well, A is going to be the number in front of the X squared, which is 1. So A equals 1. B is going to be minus 5. And C is going to be positive 5. Okay, and then it's really just a case of plugging these numbers into this formula and get the solutions at the end. Okay, so let's just try that and work through. So rather than writing the B, I'm going to write it into a bracket. So minus 5 is the value of B there, plus or minus the square root of minus 5 squared minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 5. Okay, divide all of that by 2 times 1. Okay, all right, so let's work this out now. I think you've just got to be a little bit careful with this particular area. It's actually called the discriminant. So if you go on to do higher level maths, then that's something that you might look at in the future. But Let's try to work this through just so that we can plug it into a calculator. So minus or minus is a positive number, it's 5, plus or minus the square root. Okay, now what I generally tend to do is I work these two things out separately just because it's a little bit easier. And sometimes where you get negative values of C, um, it just means you've got a negative times a negative. In this particular case, it's going to be a positive. So I've got minus 5 squared is 25. And then I've got minus 4 times 1 is minus 4. Times 5 is going to be minus 20. And that's all divided by 2. So now I've got my two values of x. My first value is going to be where x equals 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And my second value of x is where x equals 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. OK, if I work those two out, I'm going to get 3.618 and the other one is going to be 1.382. OK, so obviously they are uh, decimal numbers, and these numbers do actually go on a little way as well. So let's have a look at finding the integer values. Well, if I sketch this, what I would have is basically a graph where the quadratic cuts through the x-axis at these two numbers. So one of them is going to be 3.6 dot 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 and the other one is going to be 1.4 dot dot dot. Okay, so the integer values are going to be the values between this because we're looking at the equation which is less than zero. So it's less than zero. So the bit I'm interested in is this bit underneath here, okay? So therefore, the numbers, the whole numbers that are going to cross are going to be number two 
and where x is 3. So integer values are 2 and 3. And that would be the answer to this particular question. Okay, I hope that's been useful for you. It's a little bit of a trickier question uh, to have a look at. Um, also, there are some simpler questions in the playlist. Please do have a look at those as well. Uh, provide a comment below if you're not sure about anything. Subscribe, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.